Right, what's going on guys? It's Jordan Holmes, Holmes Cabin Specialties. We're going to give you a quick little video of how we do our drawers and all of our drawer systems. So pretty much everything we do here at Holmes Cabin Specialties is all uh, soft close. So meaning when you open the drawer, you push it in, it catches itself, closes automatically. All the drawers that we do, all of our basic drawers, come out nice and easy so you can clean them. The top of our drawers, this is everything is edge banded. This is all half inch plywood. We put a piece of edge banding across the top of it, give it a nice finished look. The bottom of the drawers is half inch as well. It's not flimsy quarter inch and it's completely dadoed sitting in a groove inside of it so it has it's fully supported on all four sides. A lot of our competitors' drawers are more like this. Like most, 90% of all shops around here, this is what the drawers are gonna look like. Just a raw plywood across the top, so when you paint it, or if you stain it, you're always gonna see that raw plywood. Most of their bottoms usually come out like this, just a flimsy little quarter inch. That's just shot out on the staples. It doesn't really give you a lot of support. Our drawers come out and they go back in just as easy. It's in there. If you come a little closer to the camera, we'll show you how we mount our drawers, our drawer runners, our slides as we call them. If you notice, when you mount your slides in here, there's a gap between where your slide is and your cabinet. A lot of shops, what they end up having to do is they have to put wood runners coming right here to flush out so they can mount their slide to that wood runner. What we have, since we're a CNC shop, we use these spacers right here. So whatever the amount is between our slide and our, this is a partition, or if it was the outside of a cabinet, we pre-drill these holes and we use these 32 millimeters spacers this one is a uh, three-quarter spacing so it's perfectly level every time we install them because everything is down is is um, down to the fraction of an inch on the CNC so it's perfectly drilled each and every single time having those spacers in there makes it for an ease of insulation we don't have to worry about sending you know putting wood runners in there that you have to try to level out by hand. Then you have to try to level your drawer slides also as you're installing them. And it can cause you, you know, human factor. We can have a lot of errors trying to level stuff out at times. So take, doing this system takes those errors out of it. Makes it a lot smoother operating drawer. Everything is perfect each and every single time. Put your drawer on. Push it all the way back like that. I don't even have to grab it to install it. It literally clips in perfectly itself by itself. On our clips that we use, our standard are these Pro 600s. This is a soft close undermount. This job right here is a frame and set. So if you notice, all of our drawers are sitting flush with the front, front of the uh, face frame right now. Once we get it on the job site and everything's sitting level, the guys will come in and they use these adjustments to get them absolutely perfect. In the shop, we just get them nice and close. Once we get them fully installed, we'll come through and we adjust them. If the drawer is sticking a little bit too far in, we have depth adjustments right here, which will adjust the depth of the drawer to get it perfectly front perfectly flush with the front of the cabinet. We have side to side adjustment on this as well. Oh, this is, I'm sorry, this is the up and down adjustment. And this right here works your side to side. So if your drawer needs to move to the side, either way, you can hit these and it'll adjust it side to side. This little button right here, this little switch, it raises the drawer up and down to get it perfectly flush each time. So 
So we just want to kind of give you a quick little tutorial. You can see as I was messing with it, I shot it too far over to one side. There we go, just like that, I did a quick little adjustment. And then these, these are some of the spacers that we use. They come in all different sizes, depending on what we need. This is our most commonly used spacer. This is a three quarter spacer. This is a five eighths. And then this is a little quarter inch. And they simply just slide in. We have three holes mounted, three holes drilled for mounting. Screw them in, put the slide in, screw it to the spacer. It's perfectly level.